we've made our way to Hungary and today we're in the capital city Budapest. We're going to be taking you guys on a food tour. So today we're going to show you nine must-try foods in Budapest. It's going to be a heavy, heavy day of eating good food. It's going to be full of paprika. <laughs> First off of the day on our Budapest food tour is the Central Market. So the Central Market Hall has everything. The ground floor has vegetables, all kinds of sausages. If you go on to the second floor, it has the restaurants and the eateries where you can actually sit down and have a meal. I've made my selection from the place behind me called Panorama. We have a traditional Hungarian sausage. I think you say kolbaj. It is cured meat. So what they do is they cold smoke it and then they dry it for a few weeks. It's basically just a mixture of meat and fat and lots of paprika. But I asked if it was spicy and he said no, not at all. They also gave me some bread and some honey mustard sauce. Wow, it is so good. It's not spicy at all. Honey mustard sauce is good. It's got a little bit of crunch on the outside. Oh my goodness, if you are in Budapest, come to the Central Market, get some fried sausage. This is so good. I don't want it to end. I just want to keep eating this. We've got an entire it's, food vlog. I know, up. I know, and I should pace myself, but this is amazing sausage. It's got a different texture than sausage. It's more like minced meat, but the paprika flavoring makes it so, so good. And the honey mustard just... Uh. Just got done with our first location, the Central Market. You definitely have to come check it out. I think it's a place where tourists and locals both go. They have all kinds of traditional Hungarian food. You can try goulash here, you can try the stuffed cabbage, you can try the sausage like we did. They have places on the second floor where you can sit down and eat or you can get it to go, but definitely come check it out. The number two thing that you have to try when you're in Budapest is a dober torta. This is also known as a drummer cake. The cafe that we're in right now has been around for 140 years and they serve lots of different Hungarian pastries. It's so cute on the inside. They have a beautiful chandelier. It's real fancy. It's a nice cafe. The cake that we've just ordered, the Hungarian name is Dobosh and from the looks of it, it looks really yummy. So this cake has different layers and in the middle of the layers there's a buttercream. And then the top is a caramel top, so it's like hard candy. I have a special story about this cake. So when I was growing up, my grandmother was a hairdresser, and one of her customers would always bake her this cake for her birthday, and we loved this cake. We've never had it any other time besides Miss Marion's chocolate cake is what we called it. So the only difference in Miss Marion's cake and this one is it's Miss Marion used the buttercream and the chocolate, but she just didn't put the caramel topping. So yummy. Any day that starts out with having a cake is a good way to start the day. The cake is really well made. The chocolate is so rich and the layers just add a lot of texture. Overall, it's a great cake. Number two was cake. Now we're gonna go for stop number three and we're gonna get some Hungarian pizza. Number three on our must try foods in Budapest is langouche. And we've come to Retro Lagouche and we're gonna try their most popular street food. This is definitely like a pizza. So it's got the fried dough, sour cream, and cheese. It's like a savory beignet. So the dough tastes like donut flavor, like beignet flavor, kind of sweet. And then the topping makes it savory. It's really good. Really good snack. Let's have a taste test. The dough is really fluffy. Kind of reminds me of the pancake that we had in Munich with the cheese and the garlic. It's a winning combination. Can't go wrong with it. So, really good. At this place, Retro Longouche, they have so many different ways that you can get it. They have Nutella ones, they have like all kinds of meat ones. We just got the traditional one with sour cream and cheese. The number four thing on our list of must try things in Budapest are these little snacks. They are called Toro Rudis. And basically, what it is, is flavored cheese curd dipped in chocolate. So they're in the refrigerated section because it is a dairy product. Um, but I got the peach kind and I got the strawberry kind. So we're gonna try two different ones. It looks like they had probably like 10 different varieties. I call dibs on the strawberry. <laughs> yeah, that's got a very strong strawberry flavor. I don't know if you can see it, 
So it's coated with chocolate on the outside. Then inside they've got this little ah. thing and in the middle is the strawberry flavor. Yeah, it tastes like um, cheesecake ice cream but mm. slightly warmer. It's not too bad, I actually kind of like it. This one is the peach one. So it's basically jam in the middle of cheese dipped in chocolate. These are really good snacks. Number five on our must try things in Budapest isn't necessarily a traditional Hungarian dish. It's gelato in the shape of a rose. We just reached Gelato Rosa and it seems to be a very popular place because the line is stretching out of the door. When you're here to get some rose gelato, there are three steps. You pay, you get a token and then you get the ice cream. Okay, we got the purple one is lavender, it's white chocolate and lavender and then the middle one is salted caramel. I almost don't want to eat it because it's so beautiful. I know, beautiful. it's so pretty. I've never actually had lavender. It's a weird flavor, I'm not gonna lie. Nothing against the flavor itself, but it's just, it's the first time for me. Mm, that like caramel is really good, really, really good. The lavender is good too, it's very like subtle, it's not very strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's also for your mustache. With the ice cream finished, we are now gonna go to number six on our Hungarian food vlog, and we're gonna get some goulash. So goulash is the traditional Hungarian dish. It's probably the national dish of Hungary. And when you're in Budapest, you have to try some. We've come to Caravan, which is an outdoor eatery place. It's got tons of different food trucks that serve traditional Hungarian food. So goulash is basically a soup that's made with meat and vegetables and it's spiced with paprika. We got our goulash from Goulash Station. It won Food Truck of the Year in 2017 and 2019. It comes in a bread bowl and it costs 3,300 Hungarian forints, which is about eight, nine dollars. It's really good. It basically just tastes like beef stew. The meat and the potatoes are really soft. They literally just melt in your mouth. And the being served in a bread bowl is really good because it just makes the bread all soft and mushy. Top, top choice. All right, right next to the caravan street food area, is a ruin bar. So ruin bars are pretty popular in Budapest and what they are is basically old buildings that were in really bad condition. They've turned them into bars now. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna try some local uh, shops. Palinka and Unicom are two pretty popular um, shops to try when you're in Budapest. Inside the ruin bar, it is so cool. There are all kinds of different rooms that you can go in. There's live music happening right now. We've actually come to the right spot because this is the place where you can get the shots. And we talked to the bartender and he told us Palinka shots are very traditional shots in Hungary. The one that he recommended is the cherry Palinka. So I asked him how to say cheers and he said, Aggie Drift. I don't remember, so we're just gonna say cheers. Cheers. Okay, so the place that we got the Palinka shop from, it's actually a wine bar and they specialize in Hungarian wines. Asked for a glass of red wine and they said this is the special one and they were very kind enough to give it for free. This is absolutely fantastic. It's a bit on the dry side, but it's really good. The last Palinka shot that we had was cherry flavored and it burned. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely burned, but it had a nice cherry flavor. The guy said also try the grape one, so I've been nominated as the guinea pig <laughs> and I'm gonna have the grape shot. Cheers, man. <laughs> what do you think? Whoa. It's, uh, it's it Oh, whoa. <laughs> I get now why they drink it uh, when they get sick. It's like a medicine, yeah. It clears your inside exactly. out, man. It clears your inside out. It does, it does. Woo! I do think the uh, cherry one was better. Okay. Was it? Yeah, for sure. Ruin bars are so cool. <laughs> you have to check one out when you're here. I think they have lots of them. Uh, we went to the most popular one. We don't know how to say it, but we'll put it down below. Our last stop of the night is at Barack and Silva, and we are here to try the paprika chicken. So we just got served with butter and bread, and it's sun-dried tomatoes with chives. 
know what just happened though. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Okay, so Ali thought that the butter was a dumpling and he was like, well, do we just eat all of this whole? Is that dumpling good? <laughs> the dumpling butter? It's actually really good. Garlic and butter is a strong combination and then you add a bit of sun-dried tomatoes for extra flavor. Very good. Oh my, the chicken paprika looks so good. So it's basically chicken that is marinated in a paprika cream sauce and then it comes with Hungarian noodles. The cream sauce is so good. I think everything that's seasoned with paprika is really good. I really like that they use paprika and everything. I do love chicken and I'm excited to try this. So I'm gonna go for the leg and thigh piece. That is so good. The chicken is cooked really tenderly and the paprika just provides a subtle flavoring. It's so good. Paprika and sour cream, I never thought there would be a good uh, mix, but it works. It really does work. And man, the chicken is so soft. It's literally just peeling off the bone. And the nice little piano music in the background. It's a nice spot for dinner. We had so much fun going around Budapest, trying all kinds of different Hungarian foods today. We hope you've enjoyed our video. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays, so please hit that subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us.